Sorry, it's been a while since I put a mandolin blues video up here. Anyway, I just wanted to put up a brief one talking about expanding that box pattern that I showed in the key of A. Well, that was the basic pattern. And we talked about adding notes. these notes to the pattern. And then we talk about sliding in and out of those. Anyway, I want to talk about bringing the pattern even further down. Now to that E note, open D, C, A. You can even hit the G note. Okay, so that's one way to expand that pattern. And when you take any type of scale or pattern or anything, you never want to play the whole thing up and down, but just take, you know, little snippets of it, three note, four note snippets. Try and make a melody out of it. Okay, the other thing I want to talk about was what's known as the sixth note. In the key of A, the sixth note is the E. I'm sorry, not the E, the F sharp. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we replace the G note with an F sharp note, in the pattern, we get a, a, uh, a sweeter sound, uh, sort of like B.B. King. I know Robin Ford always talks about this, uh, and B.B. King being an influence. So if I'm going to use the F sharp note instead of the G in that box pattern, we get a sound like this. Maybe you can hear a little bit of that B.B. King type sound. go in and out of it. You don't always have to use the F sharp. You can use the G. So. All right, so we're talking about expanding the, the uh, pattern. Also using the F sharp note instead of the G note some of the time to get a sweeter sound. Next lesson I'm going to talk about the key of G. A lot of some cool stuff in the key of G. Take advantage of these this open G and D string, which is basically the chord. You got a one and a five, which is a nice fat sounding sort of chord. You have all types of cool drones and moans and little licks you can do in a key of G. Hope that helps.